Hi YouTube, it's me, Uncle Dennis from TheSuckerNumber10.com. Just keeping it real, just keeping it live. In this video, I will share with you how you can shut up your soccer haters. Yes, again, let me recap. In this video, we'll be discussing several ways in which you can shut up your soccer haters. I know you might not take this video seriously, but I do want you to understand that as in the Soccer Number 10 community, they will be players who just dislike you. They just hate your guts. They just think you are the worst crap on earth. And while there are going to be other people or your teammates that's just going to say, man, I wish if I could play like he is or she can. And there are many other coaches that will love you, will praise you, while there will be other coaches on the other team, your opponents, so to speak, will issue out warrants to get your legs snapped to try to hurt you. They love you, but they just don't want to lose. And being it that you are a number 10 or a good soccer player, it puts you into the rims of being in the category of the most hated. So when you are being hated by other players who just don't like you, what should you do? Well, quite simple. Keep doing what you're doing. The more haters you have, it means that you're doing something terrific. I'm not saying going and hurt folks out there. I'm saying you're doing terrific on the soccer field. You are leading. You are winning for your team. And then the haters hate you. The haters can be defenders on the opponent team. And the haters can be your own teammates. Because now you're a star. Now you're getting more endorsements. Now you're getting more commercial spots and so forth. Now you're getting more prestige. Now you're getting more money and so forth. So the haters have to hate. If the haters are hated, all you do is you get better. They say, haters make me greater. <laughs> say it with me. Haters make me greater. Because the haters make you want to not fail. And you need them to try not to fail, which is not really logical under real philosophical reasoning. Because what should happen if you have no more haters? Then you will stop strive internally. Well, now, under self-actualization, I want you to strive even without your haters and keep doing it better and better and better. In your training sessions, be careful for your own teammates. They might snap your legs also. They might hurt you so you can't play. While some will love you, there will be some guys who will hold a grudge. Now, you will need to detect these guys. You will need to understand them. And in other, way, other words, so to speak, how will you be able to do this? It's by communicating with your teammates, understanding them, hanging around them, trying to be normal. But remember, nothing is wrong with being a superstar. Nothing is wrong with being uh, adequate. Try not to be inadequate. Inadequate in the sense of feeling like you can't do it because you're better and you're good. And just because you're good, you don't want others to hate you, so you come down. Don't do that. If you are good at what you are good at, don't just come down the pedestal to, to try to be with everyone. Stay up there. Let us try to follow you. Got it? Now, now if you're up there and you're cocky and you're all egotistical and you're self-centered, then you become the I guy. The I, the I, the I. And nobody really likes an egotistical guy. But we will love you if you're egotistical and you can back it up. You can win. Then you will shut us up and make us disciples. Now this is what we want you to do. When you are out there playing your ball game and you are in the presence of your haters, the fans will throw things on the field, hit you. They'll call you monkey. They will call you all kind of racial terms and so forth whatsoever. Just be in your inner zone, your little peaceful place in your mind. Play the best game, a game you can, and shut the haters up with a goal or two goals. Win in the championship and tell them, remember when you told me I, you, I couldn't do this? I did it. Then write it on your board or your little score sheet at home, just like what I do, and I tick them all off. And whenever I see my haters, you teach them how to hate, and then you teach them how to be a fan. I hope and trust this video helped you. 
By all means, my name is Uncle Dennis from the SoccerNumber10.com. Hey, subscribe, post your questions, post your problems in soccer, and I'll try my utmost best to get back in touch with you ASAP. Hey, Uncle Dennis out. Love y'all.